Welcome back to The Greener Lawn. Today we are going to be talking about winter watering. Is it really a thing? How do we do it? When do we do it? And why should we do it? Stay tuned. If you like my content, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check the notifications bell, and always leave a comment in the comment section. Winter watering is a thing, and this is the reason why we want to do it. Because we have low snowfall, or water precipitation, rainfall during the winter times. Those times when our plants, our shrubs, our trees, our flower beds, those things are all dormant. Plants have gone dormant for the winter, but they do use water in their root systems. They utilize that to keep themselves healthy during the winter. When you will actually see the effects if you allow them to dry out during the winter is during the summer months when you want it to be nice, growing, healthy, and looking good. What we are doing is watering the top layer of the soil right around the plant in that drip zone to allow those feeding roots, those fibrous roots that sit right up at the top, allowing them to get their water that they need to make sure that they do not die off during the winter. If they do, once again, they will affect our growth in the summer. How do we determine that we need to water our landscape? One, we've had insufficient snowfall for the year. What I mean by insufficient, for every 12 inches of snowfall, that's usually one inch of water. So if you're looking for one inch of water per month, which is pretty good during the winter months, then you're looking for 12 inches worth of snowfall. Or one inch of rain, you're looking at your total amount over that month. If you're not getting it and your temperatures are going above 40 degrees during the day, those are a good indication that you're going to want to water your landscape during that period of time. How can you tell whether or not your landscape will accept the watering? The easy way, if it's above 40 degrees during that day, take yourself a nice little probe, simply just insert it into the ground to see if the ground will allow it. My ground is not frozen right now. It will accept water at this point in time. How much water do we want to get down? Not as much as during the normal summer months. You just want to water to where the top of it is getting moist for about five to ten minutes. How do you water your landscape, your trees, your flower beds during the winter? Well you can use several different techniques. One such technique is just grabbing your ortho sprayer, spraying each plant for five, 10 minutes each. That does take a lot of time. Another one that's really quick is to grab your trusty bucket that you happen to be sitting on. Just filling it up with a couple of gallons of water up to five gallons for a tree and two and a half per shrub and just watering that way. That'll get your water down into those drip lines. Or the other method would just be to hook up your hose and to just use your hose during the winter. It is above 40 degrees. There's no risk of it freezing right at this point in time. What you wanna do is make sure that you disconnect it after use. Now all you do is simply water around the base of the tree with the water for five to 10 minutes. So taking an hour out of your day during the winter once a month isn't going to hurt you very much. When it's nice out like today, it's 45 degrees, it's not too bad to be out here. I'm actually overdressed. As you can tell, I overdressed. I have three different layers of clothing on. They're all long sleeves, so I am sweating a little bit. What plants do we need to look at doing this for? Any of them, it would be a good idea. Even large established trees, those things that have been in our yard for a long time, if it's a considerable drought like we had last year, we didn't receive any moisture at all from December all the way until March. At the end of March, it started to snow again, but it wasn't a whole lot. So during that period of time, I watered all my trees in my landscape. 
this year where we're getting off and on snowstorms where we've already received about three fourths of an inch of water since the beginning of December when the temperatures dropped into the freezing and everything went dormant. That's when we go ahead and water our landscapes that have been put in for less than three, four years. Getting those trees watered in really well, our shrubs, our bushes, if we have any places where we have bulbs, getting a little bit of moisture in those areas. Even though it's cold outside, we do need to be mindful of our trees, our shrubs, our flowers, our landscapes, just to make sure that the following year they're looking pristine, they're looking good, they're growing, they aren't having any deficiencies that we could have prevented during the winter. My question to you, did you even know winter watering was a thing? If you did, how often do you do it? What's your watering schedule? After seeing this, would you consider doing winter watering for your landscapes so that next year looks a lot better? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Jeremy of the Greener Lawn, Maker Green.